Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, we have completed add user part of pharmacy management system project. If you are not seen that video, just go to the description and check out the link. In this video, we are going to work on view user. So let us start with that. Let me close this application. Now let me create a new JFrame for this. So right click on this JFrame form. And here we have to write view, view user and press finish. And you can see a form has been created. So size of this form will be 850 form of 500 and save this. After that, we have to remove min max close button. So just go to the properties of JFrame, click over here and just close this. After that, we have to put a label over here. So just place it over here. And here we write view user. And the size of this one will be 36. Let me make it as bold. 36 and let me click on OK. View user drag to the center of this page, and after that, we have to place a button. And in this button, we have to place an icon, and we also need to remove the text from this one. Now, let me increase the size of this tool. It's 30, 30, 28, and let's place it over the corner of this one. And after that, we need a separator to separate this uh, header with uh, other form. So after that, just place it and look at the uh, full screen. Yeah. After this, we have to place a table over here. So just scroll down right side, and here you can see a table option is there. Just place it over here. And uh, let me scroll a little bit down, and let me decrease the size of this one. And the size of this is okay. It should be five hundred. If I see now, yeah, it's 500. And let's also decrease a few. Okay. And extend this width the max. And after that, we need to put a label at the bottom of this one that uh, we can edit. Like uh, we click on draw to delete user. This text we need to display and we have to make it as bold. Bold to move. Okay. And close this. And after that, we have to right click on this and we have to go to the table content. We have to go to the columns and one by one, we are going to change the name and we also need to remove the raw. So I'm going to set to zero. And columns names we have to write. So first we need for ID and the text will be for name. After that, role. After role, the next will be for date of birth. DOV. After that, uh, next will be for mobile number, email, username, password, address. So we have just extend that. And we have to write mobile. Number after mobile number, next will be for email. After email, the next will be for username, password, and here we have to write address. Then we have to just close this one. You can see all the fields are visible over here. Now save this. After that, uh, we need to change the layout of this uh, form. So I'm going to right click on this form and set layout to execute layout. And then we have to place a label and we have to set the background image. So I'm going to set the all page background image and place it in completely somehow. And remove this and close this and save this page. And now we have to go to the source of this page. Go to the source and over here we have to create one variable so private a string user name double quotes and here and after that we have to create instructor over here so I'm just going to copy paste over here format this one and we will be expecting string temp name and username we have to pass whatever the temporary username we got and we also need to set the location so set location by relative to and we will pass the null 
and after that we have to generate an event so extend this navigator and go to the design and if navigator option is not visible you can go to the this one and here you can click on navigator to display this one and here you can see there's a j j frame right you can see right click on this go to the properties of this one and after that uh, you have okay not go to the properties you have to generate event so right click on this event and component show so whenever this page is going to be open in that case we are going to uh, like load some data in that particular table so for that purpose we are using so default so here we have write default table model this one and you can see we are going to import it from java x swing table from here and here we write model is equals to default default this table and j table one dot hit model and after that we have to write try catch block catch block scrolled a little bit and here we have to write exception and here we have to write g option pan dot through messages null and here we have to just pass whatever the email we need. and in the try block we have to write connection con connection and this one we need to import it from uh, like here we are just going to write to import java.sql.string and it will resolve the connection I strongly believe yep connection con and connection provider we need to input connection provider provider this one uh, from DAO package we have import a statement statement st is equals to one dot read the statement and result set rs is equals to st dot execute query and then select star from app user and after that while rs dot next to execute this one and here we have to write model dot nav raw this one do object object and bracket and here we have to write git git string string and here we have to write app raw underscore eco first we're going to pass and after that rs dot git string string and we will pass name so in the same way we have to copy paste and we have to just change the names i'm just going to copy this part of the code and put comma and paste it over here after that name user role after user role the next before um, dob and after dob the next field for while number right here mobile number after mobile number the next field will be for email email and after email the next field will be for user username and password and after that we have address at okay and save this so for this, all the data which exist in our app user table in this particular uh, table over here and you know we also need to write put to disable or uh, hide this piece on books and then we have to generate the event uh, to like delete this data event right click on uh, click on this one event and here we have to click on mouse click event and in this event whenever we click on any raw from there we have to read this so int index equals to j table 
one dot it selected row this one and table table model this one and model is equals to j table one dot get model and here we have to get this id first so id is equals to model dot get value and here we have write index whatever and we are going to pass at zero and dot to string we need to convert write string user name table and model dot get value index and here we have plus x if you see this one 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 for so this position we are going to get the value with the right index and 6 okay to a string and after that if username username dot equals equals username table in that case if it is equals it means that he is trying to delete his own account so we have to restrict that so show message email. and here we have to write cannot delete load on account we need to display this error and in else condition we are going to delete it and before that we are expecting that uh, um, we are also need to display a confirmation option message confirmation so confirmation message so message not message confirmation the option pan show confirmation message this one dialog and we will pass the null pass the message we want to display so do you want to delete this user comma and that we have to pass the select so select and then we have to pass g option pan dot yes or no option and if a is equal equals to zero it means that user selected yes so in that case we need to delete that particular record so for that purpose you have to write try catch block as to suppress the exception and here we have to write g option pan dot show message dialog null and here whatever the error we got we have to display it and in the try block we have to write connection connection and we need to import the thing we already have okay connection con is equals to connection provider provider dot get con let me scroll this one and here we have write the build statement ps is equals to con dot uh, prepared statement prepared statement and in this we need to pass delete from app user where app user underscore pk is equals to question mark put semicolon and ps dot set a string and here we have to pass at one and whatever the id we have we are going to pass it over here update ps dot execute execute update and then we are going to display the message so the option add show message null and here we are going to write success user successfully delete user successfully delete it and after that we are going to hide this uh, pan, uh, frame and new view user 
and we are going to pass the username dot set visible and here we are going to mark it as true now our coding part of this uh, view user is completed we also need to connect this with the admin dashboard so go to the design double click on view user and here we are writing you view user user and we have to pass the username dot set visible and here we are going to write true now let's go to the login page and here we are going to click on login and I'm going to run the file and here we have to write admin and here we have to write admin and click on login and here we can see we have click on view user it's visible and if I try to delete my own account you can see the error you cannot delete your own account if I click on this second field you can see do you want to delete this user if i click on no it's not going to do anything if i click again if i click on yes you can see user successfully deleted if i click on ok it refresh and data has been removed so it means that our view user is working as expected i hope you guys like this video so please hit like and subscribe my channel thank you